So hey guys, this is Karan here. Welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I'm back with a new video. Today we're gonna review latest AOSIP room which is based on Android 10 on my Redmi Note 8. Wait, let me show you. I'm using AOSIP room which is based on Android 10 and you get the security patch level of 5th of April 2020. Also you get the Google Play system update of 10. You can see AOSIP build of 12th April. So which is the latest build of this room, this version and you get the Storm Breaker, Storm Breaker kernel in this room. Selenux is enforcing. What are the things working? What are the bugs? Is this room good for gaming and Google camera? All other things in this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Let's get quickly straight to the video. So this is my Redmi Note 8 and I'm using AOSIP custom room which is based on Android 10. First of all let me take a look at the launcher. The launcher which you get by default here is pixel launcher. So that's a plus point as you get the default pixel launcher not a customized launcher like launcher or CPL whichever you like. Swipe right you get the Google pixel feed so that's another very good thing. I am feeling some lags while entering or removing from launcher and some animations are also laggy in my case. I'm not telling you that this room is laggy because it depends upon your device or on your device performance. In my case, in my device it is laggy but if you want to try out on your Redmi Note 8, you can feel if this room is smooth or not for you. Quick setting tires are like these which you can go and a lot of tires are available which you can add or remove from here and you have the option to customize your columns from here like columns landscape columns columns you don't get any option to change rules so this was the option it was missing from this options i i felt that Google camera is working or not if you have watched my video I have previously shown camera go which is the latest edition which is the latest go edition of Google camera just released yesterday I've already made a video on this if you didn't watch this video you can go and check out on my channel this is the camera go app if normal Google camera not working for you then you can go and try out this Gcam this Gcam has all the features of normal Gcam including main features like portrait photo video all other things but still if you want to try out latest and real Google camera 7.2 which I'm using in my device this one is also there this one is also perfectly working you have the option to change these settings like motion flash ratio HDR plus portrait night set a lot of things are there and this Google camera is also working perfectly if you want to try out Google camera then you can try out Google camera on your device also so let me show you the Geekbench score this Geekbench score matter for you or not that depends on your preferences but this Geekbench score matters for me the Geekbench score which you get here is 307 is a single core score which is average Geekbench score and multi core score is 1276 which is far less than pixel experience unofficial build. Some people are reporting that pixel experience plus has so many lags and is not good for daily use and also for battery. In my case it was really good but in if in your case it was not really good then it's it is not my fault okay so don't blame me regarding that. And if this room is good for you, then it's very good because this room is not good for me in my case. If you want to try out, you can still try out. You can see that whenever I open or close apps, it is lagging a lot, lagging like hell. And uh, let me last show you the PUBG review. I or I'm going to try this. I have tried playing PUBG in room in this room, and uh, the game was also lagging a lot like previously pre pixel experience room has this room pre pixel experience room i played pubg and that was working really smoothly but in this room pubg has a lot of frame drops i'm using i played pubg for a half an hour and there was a lot of frame drop there i don't know why what's the issue what's the problem so you can say you could say that this room is not for not good for gaming and uh, if you want to try out still you can try out i'm not forcing anyone i'm not telling anyone that this room is great not great good not good that's all depend upon your preferences but in my case in my opinion this room 
in this room you will not get that much gaming performance sometimes there are frame drops which doesn't look nice and if you are a proper hardcore gamer then you will surely fail this thing okay so this was from the pubg review let me show you some other things let me show you some settings which you get some features which you get in this custom room network and internet apps and notifications everything is same battery backup is not that much awesome not that much great not that much bad also you can change the battery temperature scale like tap to switch scale you can see this one is nice you can see your battery temperature in case your device is heating display you have the option of these things and here at last you have the option of enabling dark theme and also in themes like styles and wallpapers you have these clock styles available that's a very good thing a lot of clock styles are available if you want to try out something you can try out that's a very good thing other things like sound storage privacy location all things are same like other custom rooms what are the main features of this custom room has owlsness these are the main features this custom room has status bar quick settings notification navigation hardware buttons lock screen gesture and advanced settings only these some options you get here first of all let me show in status bar in status bar you have the option to customize your battery carry label clock and date and network traffic display which you can see is on my status bar system icons chronic logo privacy indicators volti icon and these are the things you get here in quick settings you have the option to customize the battery percentage widen a slider vibrate on touch etc notification you can choose these things like noisy notifications if screen on pulse on always on or you can say ambient display custom color light pulse color i didn't found anywhere the edge notification option so that's another um, disappointing thing hardware button have the option of screen of animation restart advanced restart screenshot etc and uh, in navigation wait let me show you in navigation tuner you have the option to edit your navigation bar lock screen you have the option to customize your lock screen like battery info power menu visual user and media cover art in gesture there are a lot of gestures available like this jump to camera activate the torch system navigation prevent ringing skip music track swipe to screenshot and double tap to sleep on status bars so there are a lot of gesture options are available that's a very good thing and one main thing which i like a lot in gesture navigation is i can use full screen gestures that's a very very good thing which was not working in msm extended custom room but this room has a very good thing like block height of virtual keyboard as touchable region for back gestures so that's a very good very positive thing which i like i personally like a lot so if you want to try out full screen gestures and by hiding the pill that's a very good thing i still have missing the option to hide this notch but uh, still something is there something is not there skip music tracks option is there and at last swipe to screenshot and these are the things you get here at last advanced settings you have the option to enable scaling legacy app scaling all other features i have already shown you so these were all the features these were the pubg these were the google camera geekbench score everything i have already shown you how to install this room every step is same like all other custom rooms if you don't know how to install i have already made a video on how to install msm extended rom so you can just go to my channel and watch that video just replace the msm extended zip to aosip zip everything is same so this was all from today's video thanks for watching goodbye see you in the next video very soon